Hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes. I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. What? Miss Alice... And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... It hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... The, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! You have to stand by! Alice. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from a palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well, we sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but that still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Uh, yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as... running some questions by Alice for you. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's... accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. 
do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. Uh, detective's intuition? Maybe? I mean, I'm PubSec, but that's close enough. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? You'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But... What Gramps is saying is probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there, too? And what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? You're right. All we can do now is accept his deal. No, wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the Metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but, the Metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> It seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan! Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. Alright, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. See, a jail full of shadows, with a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to, exactly? So, are you gonna answer me, or...? What? What? What is... this... isn't real? Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. 
<laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... what? Chill out, Zenkiji. You've got to keep yourself together. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! I am not a Monster Cat! I am Morgana! You finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just has to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Grants. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zengiji! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! I'm not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. You'll drop me off in the jail? Looks like it's not only your lives on a line here. In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. 
<laughs> Talk about an effing buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah. Sushi for me. Oh, dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. Alright, next topic? The jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so... We're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Yeah, you said it! Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up! If that's the plan, maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right! We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. 
For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... You're right. We deserve to enjoy ourselves along the way. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. Hmm. A ride that could fit all of you. Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Uh, yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. Now it's just collecting dust. Sojiro! That's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes? Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes. We've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right, Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, Enkichi! Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Mm hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity, either her smartphone usage in general or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... Oh, we wish. I'm gonna teach them all about this stuff for future cases. If it wasn't public security, does that mean there's still someone out there involved with this incident? Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. 
<laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Oh, uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkichi said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Yo. Beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. true. That's what I'm talking about!
for real? So that's the story. Awesome! What you need. So that's what you're getting? Thank you, Bear. Thank you. So you know. Hey. <laughs> so you know. Hmm. Just add this. Sure, you kids gonna be okay on your own? We'll be fine. I mean, probably. Take care, boss. Uh, same to you. Be careful out there. Thanks. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, summer vacation, here we come! <laughs> you look unusually serious, Inspector Hasegawa. Oh, Commissioner Kaburagi. My apologies. I've been short on sleep. I've not been on an undercover case in quite some time. Hmm. I wholly understand. Have you liaised with the Phantom Thieves? Affirmative. I've gained their cooperation. However, proceedings are touch and go. Some of them are also very quick on the uptake. Nevertheless, I guarantee you that I will win them over. Understood. As expected from someone so dependable. Well, I still owe you for taking me under your wing. I'm happy to do whatever you require. Keep at it until you get to the bottom of this case. But do not get too attached to them. At this point, their arrest is an inevitability. Attached? I haven't been attached to anything in a long time. So you say. And how's the girl? Go home. At least every so often. Understood? Ma'am. No way she's buying anything about that world. I've got to wring a lead out of her. Don't take it personally, Phantom Thieves. All I want is for this case to be solved. And I'll use you however I have to. Yo, where are we now? Looks like we're coming up on Tochigi Prefecture. We've come a pretty long way. Tochigi. Tochigi is famous for the Niko Toshogu Shrine, dedicated to Tokugawa Ieyasu. I heard the monkey sculptures there are adorable. I wonder if we'll get to see them. Ooh, I want strawberries! <gasps> Let's go strawberry picking! Apparently, Gyoza's pretty big there, too. Utsunomi is supposed to be the place for it. You say Gyoza? Oh, hell yeah! We're gonna get some, right? <laughs> things to get excited about. <laughs> it's understandable. We could all use some time to unwind every now and then. And besides, we've already discussed it. We could just go straight to Hokkaido, but we decided it would be more worthwhile to check out a variety of places rather than just one. And there might be jails in other cities besides Shibuya and Sapporo. Not only that, but the supposed monarch of Sapporo won't even be in town till the 8th. We have the time. There's no reason we shouldn't make use of it. you have a point. Wait, say we find a jail before that. Does that mean we're sort of hunting for monarchs along the way? Oh, we're taking the Phantom Thieves to a whole new level. This is starting to feel real badass. Well, if there is a jail, I'm sure Sophia will let us know. Leave that to me. I should be able to handle it. I think. You'd think the AI would be a little more sure of herself. Yeah, seriously, who or what are you? I'm humanity's companion. There she goes singing again. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. I'm sure we'll learn more if she sticks around. Isn't that right, Sophia? That's right, Han. Oh, that reminds me, Mako-chan. You've been driving this whole time. Are you doing okay? I have my license too, so I could always drive if you want. Well, you just got yours, Haru, so I'll try to handle as much of the driving as I can. Does anyone else have their license? I don't. Apologies, I do not. Me neither. I want to get mine soon, though. Do you have one? Well, I guess we did just reach driving age. Sorry, Mako-chan. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I won't. Although we might be taking more breaks. I wouldn't want to put any of us at risk. That's fine by me. We want our Makoto to stay nice and well-rested. So you're going to keep driving, Makoto? I think so. For the time being. That sounds difficult. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, since you've asked, do you think you could find a place to stop and rest? I could probably use a break. We can have lunch there, too. Okay. I'd be happy to. 
There's a riverbank up ahead that should be perfect. Lunch by a river, huh? Oh, man, this is feeling like a real road trip. Yo, this spot is perfect. Is, is this even real? I've only ever seen this kind of place online. Seriously. Uh, and this is the perfect weather for cooking outdoors, too. Shall we get started, then? Boss gave us some ingredients, didn't he? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Cooking lunch with everyone. All right. We'll leave the main course to you. has been prepared. We're ready whenever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I could eat this forever. Indeed. And to be surrounded by nature in all its splendor makes it taste that much better. Is there more? <laughs> Sorry, Nari. The great phantom thief Utaba just swiped the very last plate. L last? Fate is cruel. Oh, come on. Don't act so depressed. It's not like it's the end of the world. You will. Please do. Ah, oh, that was killer. I can't even move. I'm full, too. How about I pour us some tea and we can all just relax? I'm down. Why don't we roast marshmallows later on, too? Jeez, you're seriously still thinking about food? What of it? There's always room for sweets. All right, we'll finish our break with some tea and sweets, then get going. for a while. Where are we now? We'll be entering Sendai soon. We made a lot of stops, but no sign of any jails, huh? Well, I'm definitely feeling a little more relaxed now. I wouldn't want those things popping up everywhere. Also, it's getting kind of dark. How about we call it a day? Yes, we should decide where we want to stay for tonight. Shouldn't we eat first? Uh, what's good in Sendai? As far as local delicacies go, there's always beef tongue. There's plenty of specialty shops around. Nonsense. Delicious as that sounds, we must go to Mount Aoba Park and see the remains of Sendai Castle. They house a statue of the late Lord Date Masamune. I'd very much like to see the one-eyed dragon for myself. Uh, I want to take a bath first. I'm not sleeping in the camper all sweaty and sticky. Jeez, we're all over the place on this one. Um... Well, what should we do? This is where I come in. Searching. Overnight parking lots. Beef tongue. Date Masamune and nearby bathhouses. Leave it to me. I'll find the most efficient route to everything you've suggested. Wow, you can do all that, Sophia? It's nothing special. I'm just doing a wide search and lining up our destinations. We should first head to the parking lot at Mount Alba Park. Then we can walk to the statue of Masamune. Huh? Huh? Hmm? What's up? The smell. There might be a jail here. Whoa, for real? You can really tell just off that, huh? Are you sure, Sophia? I think so. I can't pinpoint it yet, and that may be because of the distance. But this feels the same as Shibuya.
All right then, we're heading to Sendai. We shouldn't be too much longer. Well, Sophia, can you smell the jail? Yes, I'm sure of it. There's a jail somewhere in this city. So there really are more jails besides the one in Shibuya? If there's a jail, then something rotten's going on around town. You're right. We'll need to look into that first. And how are we supposed to do that? Sendai's a pretty big city, after all. We could check some more of the popular sightseeing spots. We might hear something if there's people around. Great thinking. And what's more, we're right here in Mount Aoba Park, home to the statue of Lord Masamune. Dude, you can check out the statue tomorrow! I'm starving! Excuse me? There's no guarantee the statue will still be here come sunrise. A trip is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once you've set a plan, you must act on it without delay. Ah, <sighs> there he goes. I'll never understand that logic of his. And by the way, Mako-chan, did you find out if it's okay for us to sleep in the car tonight? Yes, I actually just got confirmation. At least we won't have to worry about finding a place to sleep. And it looks like there are lots of sightseers here, so we should have plenty of chances to ask around. Should we check out the statue? It's only a short walk from here, right? It's close. Very close. Then let us depart. Lord Masamune awaits. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day and... Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gay. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune, my apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. 
to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey, let me have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. heard a cat. Oh, uh, nope. Not a real cat, at least. Uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds. <laughs> right, Ryuji? Uh, meow? Oh, come on. You're not fooling anyone. Sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses. Oh, that's sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops, sorry, sorry. You're right. If you get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... No, dude. She's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about... You know, the bag thing. Huh? What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? a couple of you being in college but not you you've still got an air of innocence about you in which case you'll be taking your entrance exam soon right have you decided where you're going to apply yet oh forgive me i haven't even introduced myself i'm kawani Chinose. i work as a researcher over at toho university hey you guys should come check out the campus it's way up in the mountains but it's a lot of fun lots of bears this season too the bears Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. I see, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Uh, sure? Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. 
We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Nah, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of jar on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, his latest work was just perfect. I was in Mona two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine that he was going to be at the station today. Oh, there's no way I'm missing that. All right. Let's finish eating, and quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Is your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if they're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. Pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Sophia. It was, as they say, a piece of cake. Guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsumi-san! Your lady said she was just amazing as always! Natsumi-san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. Who the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I, I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh, oh, oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um. Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay? Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares, by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Yo, back off, dude. Can't you see you're making her uncomfortable? And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Mm, sorry, but they're with us. If you've got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> Well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. <sighs> who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. 
a strange one for sure. But the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you alright, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised is all. How did jerk like him get so popular? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here. He could even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel author. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives, just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him, and he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed, just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues, too. Okay. Well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the Atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way, you know that? Come on, guys, are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this?
You're missing the point, dude. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Yeah, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Guys! Shut up! Oh, shit. Sorry. Like that, like this, this. Awesome. I'll just add this. <laughs> <laughs> 